What's up guys, this is Chris Calder again with a uh, basic tutorial on how to make those fast kind of semi-glitchy beats. Um, I'm mainly making this for my cousin who's really into the modern beats that have the fast note divisions such as like you know that kind of stuff. In this case I'm using Poise, my number one go-to drum machine. So basically, uh, and I'm using Reaper and you know which is my favorite recording software what you guys want to do first is you want to go into preferences and you want to go to the mouse modifiers section underneath editing behavior and you're you're, you're gonna uh, go down to it's probably gonna default to media item or something like that and you go down to MIDI MIDI piano roll and you're going to change this you're gonna double click and you're gonna change it to insert note just insert and then you're gonna click apply and then you're going to create a time selection. In this case, I created a two-bar loop. And then we're going to go up to Insert, and we're going to click New MIDI Item. And it's going to create a perfect empty MIDI item within your time selection. And then you're going to double-click to edit it, and you're going to use Reaper's MIDI Editor basically as a step sequencer. So this might not be highlighted or this you know but make sure the grid is enabled in the MIDI editor and make sure snap 2 is also enabled in the MIDI editor and then you're gonna like down here it probably defaults to you know 1 16th on the grid and straight is the default and then note it's probably gonna default to grid also so basically you know we just gotta find out where our notes are and in poise that's where you know all my drum hits are right, right down here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a very simple kick snare pattern because I want to edit the hi-hat and make it interesting. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking once, left click, and I'm inserting a MIDI note. So real simple. I have my uh, loop, you know, my repeat in Reaper uh, set to repeat. So basically I hit W to rewind and it rewinds to the beginning of the project or the beginning of this MIDI clip. And it's set to 90 BPM. So it's just doing a very simple kick snare pattern. All right, so here's where the fun stuff happens. So say we just want to, you know, we're just feeling lazy and we don't want to tap in using our pad controller. We don't want to tap in 16th notes. You know, we just want to draw them in. Reaper has a really cool function. When you hold Control and Alt in the MIDI piano roll view, the icon turns into a paintbrush. And it's going to paint a perfect uh, line as long as you hold the mouse right. Um, it's going to paint a perfect line with the division that you select. Like like down here, I have grid 16th. And over here it says grid. I'm going to change this to a really high number because it, it, it makes the, um, the MIDI notes line up a little better. And they don't overlap. So I'm going to change it to 64th, but I'm going to keep the grid at 16th. So when I, when I paint the notes, they're going to be 16th notes, but they're going to be really small. They're not going to be wide. Now this is usually set to straight, but I had it set on triplet before, so I'm going to move it back to straight. And I'm going to now add some hi-hats. And I'm just going to hold Control and Alt. I'm going to find my hi-hat, and I'm just going to paint it. And I, I'm going to be sure to, not to go too far, because it kind of erases all the notes if I drag outside the, mid, the MIDI clip uh, border. So right there, perfect 16th notes. And this is where you can do the interesting stuff. So say we want, at the end of this bar, you know, I just hit delete. To I highlighted those and hit delete. Right click, drag, and then the delete key. So say I want those to be a little more interesting. I want them to be 30 seconds. So hold Control and Alt. Draw it in. So that's cool. And then say say I want to do uh, 16th note triplets at the end of this at the end of this pattern right here, like on count four of bar two. So do the same thing. It's set to 16th. We'll set it to 16th triplet. Control and Alt, left drag, and make sure we don't go out of the border. very easy way to almost it kind of works as a step sequencer but 
you know, a little bit mouse clicking, which you have to do with a step sequencer anyway, most of the time. The step sequencer VSTs that I've used, such as Stepchild and some other ones. But, um, you know, it's just kind of, it's not that, it doesn't take that long to build a loop, you know, and make it interesting. And you could do it, you know, uh, as long as your grid's set right, you know, you could have like a buzz effect, you know, like that really fast, you know, 64th notes. So we'll buzz... I don't know. We'll buzz this hat, this hi hat right here. So we'll buzz it for the first uh, half there. It's a little hard to see this because the cursor is flashing because of the screencasting software I'm using. All right, so that's obviously annoying sounding for hip hop, but could work very well in a glitch context, which is also fun to make. So it's just really easy. You just control Alt and drag and just whatever this is set to right here it'll it'll draw the notes in a perfect line like here's here's uh, just a bunch of eighth notes actually eighth note triplets I should say <laughs> so you get the idea and thanks for watching